Hello chefs, welcome back to Close Kitchen and for the new subscribers, welcome. Today I will be unboxing this 6 quart programmable crock pot. So let's go over the parts together. This crock pot can serve more than 7 people. That's like inviting everybody for Sunday dinner. But anyway, it comes with a brochure that has instructions as well as a few recipes to get you started which I do plan on trying. You guys, before I even open the box, there are two bonus recipes on the top of the box. One is for chicken enchiladas and the other one is for a triple chocolate surprise. Yummers! The first part is a glass lid or cover that comes with a large handle for easy lifting. Attached to that handle are two locking tabs. It has a rubber seal to keep the moisture inside of the pot. On the opposite side of the handle, it has a large hinge with two insertion pieces that helps to attach the cover to the base. The next piece is a large stoneware bowl which comes with two handles on the sides and it is big enough to hold a whole chicken. The heating base comes with two handles and a panel on the front which has all the functions for cooking. It has a short power cord attached to the back of the base. The back of the base has a small box with two holes to connect the cover to the base as well as a release button. The bottom of the base comes with a few grips to prevent it from damaging my countertops but also to keep my crock pot in place while I'm cooking. Now that I have all my pieces out, I'm ready to assemble my crock pot. So I'm starting off with my stoneware bowl by placing it into the base, then I'm going to turn my base around and insert the cover into those two holes in the back of the base until I hear it click. To remove or detach the cover from the pot, all I have to do is press the release button. In order to cover my crock pot tightly, I have to bring the lid down, then insert the two locking tabs into the two holes that's right above the control panel.
Whenever I want to open my lid or unlock it, all I have to do is press the open button that's placed on the control panel. Alright, so let's plug this baby in so we could check out the functions. The first thing I see after I plug it in is three lights blinking, a high, a low and a warm. Let's see what the select button does. So it selects the high temperature, the low temperature or the warm temperature for cooking. The next two functions are the top and bottom arrows, which are to preset your cooking time. You could either increase it or decrease it. Lastly, you have the off button which is a two-in-one off and on button. So this is it you guys. I can't wait to start cooking and baking with my new crock pot and maybe use some of the recipes that came with it. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and stay tuned for the new recipes. And as always, keep cooking chefs. Bye.